deal proves the compromise will not work. It's black and white. We have to remain in the European Union. There is no compromise with those who voted leave. So, so this is, I mean, you and I have met on other occasions, is I, I guess the fundamental question. Is yeah. there a possibility of a compromise? You feel very strongly about this, and I have I colleagues in Parliament who also feel on the completely other side of the debate, on the no deal Brexit debate, that there's no room for compromise. I think we can come together as a country, I think we can compromise. I do believe that we could leave the political institutions here and we would find that we could remain close to Europe diplomatically, economically, that we could flourish together and that my children, your children, would be proud of Britain's place in the world. Three years on, people have changed their minds. They see the mess we are in and to Brexit just creates years and years of division. It's not going to end if we Brexit. People think, oh, let's just get on with it in Brexit. It doesn't end there. It ends when Article 50 is revoked or it comes back to the people for a final say. The only end of this has to be compromise, a realistic compromise, that if we hold a second referendum and people in the way that you suggest would have vote remain, it would be a very uncomfortable relationship with the European Union. It would lead to more decades of division. But I respect absolutely your view. I know you feel it passionately. There are many people in the country who will be cheering you when you say that, just as there are many people in the country who are cheering my colleague Marc Francois when he's arguing for Nodial Brexit. But I think in the end we're going to have a country. Thank you. Right, thank you for your time. Sorry. 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 Rory Stewart, who's convinced keeping the current Brexit deal, somehow persuading Parliament to back it, is the only show in town. All these other people uh, somehow believe that by shouting and saying, I'm going to take uh, Britain out, that they have some magic way to do it. It's like some man stuck on a zip wire. When you can wave the Union Jacks all you want, but you're not going in. He's rolled backwards today and out of the contest. Rory Stewart, campaigning earlier this morning. The rank outsider who made so much progress in this campaign, much to the annoyance of many fellow Tories. What will happen in this round is, uh, without being too blunt about it, another candidate will be knocked out, who currently has... An awful lot of people would like it to be you, wouldn't they? You oh, know they would. Oh, there's an enormous number of people would like it to be me, because an enormous number of people believe that the message that I'm bringing forward is too challenging. They might work out a way to do it, mightn't they? But they might well, and there's a lot of talk about which, shenanigans which, going on. Which only a cabinet minister for 50 days, most of them spent campaigning to be prime minister. But while he grabbed much of the limelight, what he needed was more Tory MPs on side. Tonight, they slipped away. You've talked a lot about realism, but isn't the reality you were never a serious contender? I think, at the current context, some of the odds seem difficult, and I think the judgment of MPs was probably that the members of the Conservative Association might not, in their minds, have been ready to hear that no deal Brexit would be catastrophic for this country, not ready to hear that you can't negotiate a new deal with Europe by October, not ready to hear that you can't take no deals through Parliament.